This is a woman who has a destiny that's bigger than her profession, bigger than her behavior, and that's what Solomon asked God to let him see. We read where God appears to King Solomon in a dream, and in this dream, God speaks directly to King Solomon and says to him, whatever you ask of me, I'm going to give it to you. How many of you know that's a good dream? God was in it, God showed up, God did the talking, and God performed what he said. And I would like to read for you the prayer that Solomon prayed in response to God visiting him in a dream. He said, Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this thy so great a people? Solomon is asking, Lord, give me a hearing heart, a hearing mind, that I might be able to make a judgment, a discernment about that which is good, and that word tov is a word that is sometimes translated to mean fully functional. Lord, give me a heart to discern between that which is fully functional and, and bad, ra. Tov is good, ra is bad. Ra is not necessarily evil, but sometimes it can be used with an evil intent, but it also can be translated not bringing forth full potential. So God, give me a hearing mind, Solomon's praying, that I might be able to discern between that which is functioning fully as the Creator designed it to function. He didn't want to just be able to have to say, good, evil. He said, I want to be able to cut the line right down between the most productive and, and, and the saddest seed. It's not producing even a third of the potential. All right, now, Solomon is asking the Lord, I want to be able to see and discern and, and hear the difference between a seed that's bringing forth fullness and one that is not. And guess what happens? God answers his prayer. He not only grants him that ability, he does it quickly. He's being tested now on his prayer. And guess who is next in line for their appointment in the presence of the king? Two prostitutes, not one righteous woman and one filthy woman. Two filthy women. Evil. It's evil. But I want you to know, Solomon didn't pray, Lord, let me see the good from the evil. He said, let me see the good from the bad. Let me see the toe from the raw. So here come two prostitutes, both of them participating in evil things. But Solomon had an answer to his prayer. Now the Jewish sages believed that he knew immediately who the mother was. But he knew it was very important for those witnessing this moment to see who the mother was. But because of the wisdom and because of the hearing heart, to discern the difference between fully functional and not. He said, bring me a sword. That was really all he had to say. He said, bring me a sword and we're going to divide the baby. And the real mother steps forward. And she does not say, notice this, she does not say, I'm the real mother. Give the baby to me. You know why? That would have been raw. Not evil, bad. That wasn't going to produce anything. See, just a moment ago, she'd been selling herself or giving herself away. She wasn't thinking about the welfare of that baby when she was choosing her profession. 
and her lifestyle. This is not a noble woman. But this is a woman who has a destiny that's bigger than her discipline. This is a woman who has a destiny that's bigger than her profession, bigger than her behavior. And that's what Solomon asked God to let him see.